What's going on everyone, my name is Skodomore and welcome back to Electronics Episode 6. In this episode, we are going to learn about a very important electronic component, and that is the LED. LED stands for Light Emitting Diode. Now, that sounds complicated, but LEDs are really just tiny little light bulbs. LEDs are really efficient, they usually last for quite a while, they come in all shapes and sizes, and they also come in a ton of different colors. The ones on the screen are one of the most common forms of LEDs. You can get these types in almost any color, and these are the ones that I am going to be using throughout this tutorial series. But like I said, there are different types of LEDs of different sizes and shapes and all of that. So an LED light emitting diode is basically just a tiny little light bulb, and we are going to be using LEDs a ton in almost every single one of the projects that we create throughout this tutorial series. That means it's really important to have a good supply of LEDs in your possession, and they're fairly cheap too. Now, while LEDs are just simple little light bulbs for the most part, there are some really important things that we need to know about them before we can actually use them. First of all, an LED can't just be hooked up to a circuit for two main reasons. The first reason is that LEDs usually require a resistor to be in the circuit along with them because LEDs can't handle the amount of current from, say, a 9-volt battery. So if you wish to run an LED off of a 9-volt battery, it might work for a little bit, but then your LED is going to burn out and no longer work because there's too much current flowing from a 9-volt battery through the LED. Now this isn't always the case, but most likely it will be. So we know that an LED, in order to have it run off of a bigger power source, needs to have a resistor on it. Now we are going to talk about in the next video how to choose a proper resistor value, but let's not worry about resistance for right now. Say we could just hook up an LED to a circuit. Well, we have another problem. An LED light emitting diode is a diode. Now we are going to talk about diodes in the future, but don't worry about them, but what that means is an LED must be hooked up in a circuit in a specific way or else it won't work and you could damage the LED. First off, let's take a look at the two metal leads coming off of this LED. As you can see, there is a longer lead and a shorter lead. The longer lead is called the anode and the shorter lead is called the cathode. So the longer lead, the anode, should be hooked up to a positive voltage source, so the positive terminal of our battery. While the cathode, or the shorter lead, should be hooked up to the negative terminal of our battery, and it must be hooked up in that way. If you connect the longer lead, or the anode, to the negative terminal of the battery, and the cathode to the positive terminal of a battery, then your circuit will not work and you could damage the LED. Now, what if you have an LED that has both of its metal legs the same length? Well, we can't tell which one is the anode and which one is the cathode. Well, some LEDs have a little flat spot just above the cathode lead, and that'll indicate the cathode, or which leg should be hooked up to the negative terminal of your circuit. So that's another way you can tell. But most often, LEDs like this will have two different sized metal legs, a longer one for the positive or anode, and the shorter one for the cathode or the negative terminal. Those are two very important words that you should get in your head. Anode basically means positive, cathode basically means negative. So great, now we know what an LED is. A light emitting diode, basically it's a little light bulb. We are going to be using them a lot, so make sure you have a good amount of them in your possession. I recommend at least 20 to 30 of them. You might burn a few out, and we are going to be using them quite a bit. Except I mentioned at the beginning of the video that an LED, in order to hook it up to, say, a 9 volt battery, we need a resistor, but how many ohms of resistance do we need? Do we need 200 ohms? Do we need 1000 ohms? Well, we're gonna find out how to calculate that in the next video. Hopefully you guys understood that. LEDs are very important. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave them down below in the comments, and I or someone else will hopefully answer or help you with your problem. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video.